This is a Curvy 3D4 tutorial showing how I made the uh, sculpted areas of this model, which is the skin and the trousers. Uh, I started both of these by sketching out parts, um, drawing lathes to define the shape of the major parts. These are the, the lathe objects. As you can see, they look much simpler. They're made from curves, these orange curves. To give them a shape. I made it symmetrical and then rotated everything into position to pose it. Now to get to the finished skin from these parts, I first join them all into one thing using merge group. I've put all of those parts into one group by dragging them in the groups window. And when I merge them, it creates this continuous mesh. I'm pressing S to smooth. And it's now joined all of those parts into a continuous mesh. And now I'm going to use the sculpt tools to add details back into the, the, those shapes. But to start with, I want to tidy up the mesh a bit. So I'm going to use the smooth tool, which looks like a droplet. this softens and smooths the mesh so I can get rid of any dents and bumps which I don't want. Smooth out some of the edges between objects. Now I'm going to use the add brush to draw some musculature. This is easier with a graphics tablet, I'm, but I'm currently using a mouse. We can change the intensity of the effect with the add brush. Quite a low intensity works well. A high intensity is quite distorting on the mesh. At a very low intensity lets you do subtle changes to uh, the shape of an object. The sub brush does the opposite, it makes dents in the model. By the way I'm changing the mesh, the, the brush size by holding down control and dragging, getting big and small brushes. I can get more definition uh, use a clay brush to fill in holes and smooth the mesh. The clay brush usually needs quite a high intensity to show up. It tends to fill in holes and crevices and smooth the mesh. So it's quite useful fill filling in these gaps between objects on the model. Now for more definition, I'm going to use a smaller brush to draw around the edges of the muscles. Um, I'm also going to use pinch, set the pinch slider on that brush. So while it draws and sculpts, it's also pinching the mesh together to make a tighter line. A shallow but tighter line. There's also a dedicated pinch brush which does just pinches the mesh together. Again it's good for creases and fine lines. <clears throat> so again using the sub brush with the pinch slider set up 
and drawing on some more muscles. Now the flatten tool can take the curves out of an object. Make sure you set the pinch off. And the flattening works slightly similar to smoothing, but but takes some of the curves out of the object and gives you flatter areas. So most of the work here is just done with the add and sub brushes using pinch for finer details. Just sculpting some lines into the neck. You can also change the shape of the effect. Um, So for instance, if we draw with a flat brush, we can draw large flat shapes. Let's just paint on a nipple. Now there isn't actually enough detail in the triangles to draw that smaller smaller thing. So we're going to convert the mesh into a automatic subdivision mesh. Notice in the groups panel, it's got a square as an icon. And when we convert into an automatic subdivision mesh, it'll turn into a diamond. Now when we sculpt, it'll add in triangles near where, where they're needed. The shortcuts for that are J to convert to adaptive subdivision and K to convert back to a normal mesh. You can also do it from the mesh menu. Now it's created lots of tiny little triangles to add detail where we wanted it. As we paint, it's creating extra triangles as, as they're needed. But the, the pinch does a similar job and works quite well. Let's move on to the trousers. I'll just show these quite quickly. These are the parts they're made out of. Merge the group together. Press S to smooth. And now you can lay into this with quite crude brushes to make a, a roughened surface. So I'm going to use the clay brush. Hold control to scale the brush. Increase the intensity. The clay brush can have quite a high intensity because it's smoothing as it sculpts. and sketch it in some details. Very quickly the smooth shape of the lathes turns into a sort of more rough organic looking shape. Uh, again I'm going to convert to adaptive subdivision so I can draw in the details on the mesh. And that's sculpting and curvy.